Good morning. It's Monday, November 7th, 2022. I'm your host, Dr. Robin McKay. Welcome to the Actualization Zone. And this is your weekly weather report. Of course, I don't report on the actual weather outside, although we do have sunny skies here today in Arizona. But I do tune in to the non-physical energies that we can harness, take advantage of, or just be aware of and mindful of as we go through the week, as we are pursuing the actualization of our greatest hopes, dreams, and desires. If you're new to my world, welcome. I have a couple of announcements that I'm super excited about. First of all, I feel like I need to do a drum roll for this, but I have decided to open up about five more mini coaching packages for wealth consciousness, for burnout, recovery, and for anything to do with corporate client attraction. So you can do any of those three things, wealth consciousness, which I have new wealth consciousness codes that have been downloaded from the Akashic Records. If you are wanting to learn how to dive into the corporate space and to be of service to all the people in the corporate space, you can use the mini package for that as well. Or if you're just feeling a little crispy around the edges right now and you need some R&R, some rest and relaxation and some resetting before we go into the holiday season, you can use the mini packages for that as well. Um, Those are, they don't come around very often and they are at a really very beautiful price for you all. So there's three 45 minute sessions with me for $9.97 and usually a package like that is around $5,000. So If that's something that is resonating for you, I want you to DM me and I'll ask you a few questions. And if I feel like you're a good fit, we'll go ahead and get you signed up for that mini coaching package. And I'm really looking forward to working with those of you who really are lined up with the wealth consciousness piece, especially that affects everything else, your capacity to receive and hold more financial wealth in your business or in your your career. And um, of course, the other two things as well also impact wealth consciousness, burnout. And if you want to move into the corporate space as well, you have to have the capacity to receive and hold wealth in order to do that. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Again, DM me if you want to get in on that and we will start the registration process for you there. Now, today's a full moon. And that's one of the things we're going to be talking about during the weather report. But today I'm using the uh, Akashic Tarot, which is by Sharon Ann Klingler and Sandra Ann Taylor, this this box right here. And um, I just tuned in. We were in Sedona all weekend hiking and just um, getting some new activations and some new energy alignments and updates up there as well. So that was a really great experience for me to be able to come back in refreshed and ready to go to hit the ground running for the next holiday season that's coming up so quickly. Can you believe it? All right. So the first card that we pulled today is the King of Forces. And if you see here, this is so perfect because I was just up in Sedona and we we saw deer, actually, we didn't see any elk, but this card has a wolf, a man and deer. And it's a, it's a really, I think it's a symbol of the divine masculine. It's a presence of creativity. It's a presence of calm, cool, collected reason. And it is something that is really required for us to be able to bring our next level of our work into the world is to have that calm, cool, collected reason, marrying our intuition. So we, we are bringing the divine masculine and the divine feminine back into balance. And the way that we're doing that is through making decisions. You know, you've heard this, if you've been in manifestation world, for any period of time, you already know this, that the first step in manifesting any of your heart's desires is to make a decision. But here's something interesting that you may not be aware of is that there's a gap that, that happens after you make a decision. A decision is just a course correction. A decision is a change in flight plan. A decision is, is, the, actually, the, the definition of decision is just to cut off all other options. But after you make the decision, there's a period of time that is critical there. And that, that critical period is what you do next. When you make a decision, 
when you make a decision to make the leap into a new coaching program, when you make the decision to call in more money in your business, when you make the decision to leave your, leave your corporate position and start your, your entrepreneurial endeavors, whatever that is, the decision is the first step, but the next step in that gap, that gap is the action, what you do next. It's what you do next then begins to define and create momentum for you in that decision. And that's one of the places I think that we get hung up that nobody ever really talks about is the gap between decision and action. Because you can talk yourself out of decisions too. But we know that the universe doesn't move until you move. And so a sure and steady action on the heels of a decision that's what's going to create momentum for you. That's what's going to actually collapse the time-space continuum in order for you to bring that desire into fulfillment. So this masculine energy in the king of forces that's presenting itself today is uh, an energy to harness as you're making your decision, but even as you're taking your steps into that decision. What's next after you make the decision? Well, you better do something. And I don't mean to do something from a point of scramble, but my teachers and I have always talked about taking aligned action. What is an aligned action? That's the question. And if you don't know the answer to that, then do something in the service of that decision. Do something in the service of the decision. Write it on your whiteboard that you've made the decision. You don't have to know 17 steps ahead. You just need to know one or two steps. And then that, after you make the one or two steps, you move on to the next and the next and the next. All right, so if you want to collapse time and space around that heart's desire, make the decision, but then harness this divine masculine energy that's present right now and invite it in and say, okay, I've decided, now what? And then do something in the service of your heart's desire. Along with the king of forces is the muse. And the muse is a feminine energy. It's inspiration. So when you create the, the interconnection between the divine masculine and the divine feminine, or the king and the muse, what a beautiful outcome you have before you. The muse is the inspired breath. The muse is the creativity. It's the, it's the spirit of the creativity that flows through you. And here's a hint, when you're trying to decide what to do next, if you've made the decision to do something different, if you've made the decision to bring in more money into your business this month, let's say for example, then doing what you have done before you made the decision doesn't make sense. But when you tap into the energy of the muse and you say, okay, what's the most creative thing that I can do right now? What's the most creative contribution that I can make in this moment? Do that, do that thing. And then if you need an extra pop, I love that this card came up. This is Uriel and the, and the Sphinx. But if you look up there, there's the full moon at the top of the card. And of course we've got the full moon energies tonight as well. So the full moon is about bringing things to fruition. It's about embodying the fullness of your vision, embodying the fullness of your heart's desires. But Uriel, there's another name for Uriel, and that is the fire of God. So if you can call in that holy fire inside of you, And call that up and just ask that to burn brightly within you. That's going to create speed and momentum for you as you take on this part of your journey. So a couple of messages come through today. One is that you're not alone. Two is that decision is the first step. Remember the second step, which is to take aligned action in the service of your decision. In the service of your decision. So you have to look at that and you may need some advice on that. That's one of the reasons why I'm offering these mini coaching packages, because sometimes you just need somebody who's been there, done that, wrote the book and 
and bought the t-shirt to come in and see things from a slightly different perspective so you can too. And often that's, that's all it takes to create some momentum for you, for your business, for your career, for what's next for you. Because you do have the capacity to create anything. You do. It's within you. But it's also vitally important that you honor the, the decision and take action on it. Otherwise, it just stays up in your head. And that's one of the greatest challenges, I think, for, for creative, for visionary people is that a lot of times our heart's desires stay in the ethers because we haven't figured out how to bring it into physical reality. But the best way to bring it into physical reality, make the decision and then take the next step. For some of you, the next step is going to be to direct message me and let me know. I want to talk about the mini coaching packages. I think that'd be great for you. All right. So that's what we have for today. We've got the king of forces. We have Uriel and the Sphinx, Sphinx and we have the muse. And they are all coming together to create momentum for you. Momentum in your business, momentum in your career, momentum in your life. And you are fully responsible for what the next step is. So what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with this energy? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, go ahead and, and follow me and make sure that you're getting updates on it so that you don't miss an episode. I will see you in the actualization zone and, and then I'll be back here next week for your next weather report.